Dumfries, Scotland. 250 plus people celebrating the 100th anniversary of the British Ice Hockey Association. I think it's a great celebration of what has taken place over the last 100 years in the development of British ice hockey. And it's a bringing together of the people who have been instrumental and remembering the people that have been instrumental over the past 100 years in getting to where we are. There was memorabilia, memories, the Stanley Cup. It's now uh, regarded as the greatest trophy in all of sport. It's 120 years old, but you look back to its origins and it's, it's all because of the UK. I mean, the Sheffield was the silversmith capital of the world. The Stanley Cup is pure silver from Sheffield. And you think back to those days of what Lord Stanley's gift was. It was basically a gift to the world. And it's that greatest hockey trophy there is. Trying to get the Stanley Cup here and known Phil for a long time. And a lot of people have been involved in hockey a long time. Some people thought I was crazy that we'd never pull it off. And then with the Hockey Hall of Fame, especially with Phil's help, it, we made it happen and made this something quite emotionally really for me tonight. Like it's all come together, it's happened, it's worked. and pretty pleased at the whole thing. There was also, very much, a feeling of looking forward to further developing the game, overcoming recent rough patches with renewed optimism. The future, as I say, looks very bright. We have very young, talented individuals playing, and a good example is in our under-20s team, we have players that are 15 and 16 year old. That's come about with our structure. We did a complete change to our structure during the summer this year. So we've appointed a National Talent Development Officer who's casting his net far and wide. And so we've had players from overseas join the squad that normally wouldn't have because they have the right to play for GB. And more importantly, the foundation at the younger levels continues. So the education of coaches, the education of players has now been taken up a level which hadn't been seen over the last decade. So all well and good to talk about the future. You always want to look forward. But really, the whole evening was about celebrating 100 years of the British Ice Hockey Federation. And when you talk about the history of the game in this country, there is one event and one only that has to be at the top of the list. In 1936, Great Britain won the Olympic gold medal in Germany, the European Championship and the World Championship. Uh, it's just something that you doesn't, <laughs> you know, it's something that you can't even think about. Like, it's just unbelievable. A, a great achievement. And, and when you think that stemmed also from the fact that in Great Britain, we established the first professional league outside of North America in 1934. And it was the players who were playing with the teams in that league that formed the 1936 team. Only two of that team were not born in Great Britain, which uh, many of the team actually emigrated to Canada and learned their skills there and came back because of the league. And they were playing in that league. It's also interesting that the Canadian team that they played against the 1936 Olympics Two of those players were born in Britain. <laughs> so there was an equation, an equal balance, if you like. It was the greatest moment, and I aspire to having another phenomenal moment. I think British ice hockey is developing at a rate of knots and really putting GB back in the firm footing across the other stronger nations. 100 years of the British Ice Hockey Association pride in the past, and hope for a focused future. Reporting for IIHF.com, I'm Paul Romanuk.